Hello and welcome to The Big Sound with me, Lucinda Bell. Hello everybody and thank you for joining me again for another episode of the live acoustic series The Big Sound and today I'm going to keep it dreamy, um, may, maybe some of you are not quite ready to take on the beginning of the new week, I know that I am not, <laughs> so today I've got something very special for you, I'm going to be performing for you a song that I wrote um, that is on my last album Think Big Like Me. And this song was something that I took some time to write. Every now and again, you write a song and you think, you start it. Some songs you write in about uh, an hour, half an hour. It just depends what the vibe is, the mood is. Sometimes songs come to you. And this song came to me in the middle of the night. I was working on a film session um, and I had some technical problems with my, um, my computer. And it was about two o'clock in the morning and I had my harp sitting in my studio and rather than just pull my hair out, I turned off all my equipment and I walked over to my harp and I sat down and the first two chords of this song came out. Um, and basically, some of you may find them familiar. They are definitely influenced by a particular composer back in the 1950s. I shall not name that until the end. And um, what began was this song, and I knew that I had something special. And I just knew that I had to pay it homage and do it justice by taking time to really write the song the way I wanted it to be. And it's actually one of my favorite songs on my album, and it ended up being the last song on the album because it does so much closure to this. I think it wraps up a whole journey. And I am the kind of artist that believes that an album, even though people download tracks independently of one another these days, I do believe that an album is a body of work and it should represent that body. And when you're picking songs for an album sometimes, that's how you eliminate songs. If they don't go with the journey, the story of that album, then they don't make the album. Normally artists write, you know, up to some artists write hundreds of songs and audition hundreds in order to make an album of maybe 12, 15 tracks. Well, this song I knew was special, so I took some, took some time with it. I started writing it, hello, thanks for joining. Um, I started writing it and I realized very quickly that um, it wasn't good enough and I needed to make it better. So I turned to a, a, um, an, an amazing songwriter, collaborator of mine, friend called James Byam. And I said, James, will you help me finish writing this song? Can we do it together? And he said, yes. And this is the result of it. So this song is called Don't Go Chasing Your Heart and um, Get Ready to Feel Dreamy. Perhaps it shouldn't be it. Hopefully, if you're watching this on playback, it's going to be late at night. And if you are doing that, Turn the lights down low and sit back and relax and enjoy this. So I'm just going to give you some reverb. Here we go. Don't go chasing your heart. If you go, you may follow it back to the start and all of your dreams as close as they seem will always be one step to So 
Thank you very much for your comments, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you like that song, please feel free to share it with a friend. I think it's so beautiful. It's definitely one of my favorites. Did you recognize the chords? Did you recognize the opening chords? Did you recognize where they might be influenced by? Leave me a comment. Write me a comment if you think you know where they're from. Anything? Any ideas? Any ideas? So... Actually, I realized after I did the chords, um, they're kind of diminished chords, that they may remind you of something by Gershwin. <laughs> Summertime, and the living is easy. 
Get it now? Yep. I think one of the, I can't remember who it was, but one of the great artists said there are never any original ideas. It's all just a repeat of what's come before in life. History repeats itself. And perhaps maybe so does music. Hi, Andrew. Thanks for joining. So if you're late to the show, the big sound today, I'm going to be changing up the big sound. I'm going to be giving you like a countdown. Um, I've been taking lessons in how to um, work my broadcasting equipment and we're going to do some improvements with that to give you a chance to join because I know that I don't normally perform that long with a live acoustic series. Um, so I'll be giving you a countdown that will probably start five minutes before 12, just as a reminder, and you'll be able to catch the show. But if you missed today's performance, then just play back and hashtag share and care people. Um, make sure you jump on over to my Instagram at Lucinda Bell Official at 6 p.m. tonight and I'll be offering you something. I don't know what that is yet, but there will be something there for you later today. So thanks for joining everyone. Um, share with your friends. Nice to see you all. Thank you for your comments as always. And um, have a nice day or evening or wherever you are in the world. See ya. Over and out.